<laughs> UFOs have long been a source of fascination, mystery, and controversy. In fact, some people have suggested that the recent FEMA emergency alert test on October 4, 2023 was actually in preparation for possible future alien invasion, a claim FEMA has since dismissed. UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object and UAP stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. Both terms are often used interchangeably. But how did all these talks about UFOs begin? In the mid-20th century, a period marked by significant technological advancement and scientific exploration, radar technology emerged as a crucial development during World War II. This breakthrough enabled the detection of objects in the sky that had previously gone unnoticed, giving rise to a surge in reports of unidentified flying objects, commonly known as UFOs, throughout the 1940s and 50s. The term flying saucer was coined in 1947 by a journalist who reported on the sighting of nine disc-shaped objects flying over Mount Rainier in Washington state. This event, along with the infamous Roswell incident of July 1947, stands as one of the most widely discussed and debated UFO cases in history. Initially, Roswell Army Airfield announced the recovery of a flying disc from a crash site in the New Mexico desert. However, they swiftly retracted the statement, asserting that the crashed object was a conventional weather balloon. Yet, the Roswell incident was just one among many UFO sightings during this era. This surge in UFO sightings can be attributed to various factors. The advent of radar technology played a pivotal role, unveiling previously unseen aerial phenomena. Moreover, the pervasive backdrop of the Cold War and the looming threat of nuclear conflict intensified public anxiety, potentially fostering a belief in the existence of aliens. In this period of heightened scientific curiosity and global tension, the emergence of UFO reports became intertwined with both technological progress and societal fear. Fast forward to the 21st century. Despite the secrecy surrounding UFOs, there has been a growing movement in recent years to declassify UFO-related information. One notable account comes from Commander David Fravor, a retired Navy commander, who described a tic-tac-looking object he encountered during a flight off the Southern California coast in 2004. All four of us, because we were in F-18Fs, we had pilots and Wizzo in the back seat, looked down a small, saw a white tic-tac object with a longitudinal axis pointing north-south and moving very abruptly over the water like a ping-pong ball. He noted that the object appeared to mirror his aircraft's movements, suggesting a level of the awareness of their presence. Another former Navy pilot, Mr. Ryan Graves, also said that these unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, are far from isolated incidents. Instead, he and his colleagues observed them routinely for several years. I have experienced advanced UAP firsthand, and I'm here to voice the concerns of more than 30 commercial air crew and military veterans who have confided their similar encounters with me. As we convene here, UAP are in our airspace, but they are grossly underreported. These sightings are not rare or isolated, they are routine. Military aircrew and commercial pilots, trained observers whose lives depend on accurate identification, are frequently witnessing these phenomena. These accounts are not limited to Commander Fravor, and Mr. Graves alone is Mr. Brian Gresh, another former Navy fighter pilot, also claimed that the U.S. government is in fact in possession of UAPs. Mr. Gresh, finally, do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Uh, absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years. And, and, and where? I know the exact locations, and, and those locations were provided to the Inspector General and some of which to the intelligence committees. I actually had the people with the first-hand knowledge provide a protected disclosure to the Inspector General. Following these testimonies, the U.S. Department of Defense launched a new website to provide the public with declassified information about UFOs. The website is called the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office website, and it is intended to be a one-stop shop for all publicly available information related to UFOs. These testimonies offer compelling narratives of encounters with UFOs. Nevertheless, it's essential to recognize that not all UFO sightings are definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life or aliens. Many such reports have been attributed to mundane causes, including weather balloons, zeppelins, unusual cloud formations, and experimental aircraft developed by the U.S. Air Force during the Cold War. In 2021, the government released a report concerning UFOs acknowledging that they could not provide explanations for the majority of these sightings. The report also raised concerns about the potential national security implications of these phenomena, suggesting that they might represent advanced technology from foreign adversaries. Organizations like the Mutual UFO Network, MUFON, a nonprofit group established in 1969, has investigated over 100,000 UFO reports since its founding and has concluded that a small percentage of these reports are likely credible. However, MUFON has not been able to definitively prove the existence of UFOs or aliens. Likewise, NASA has long been engaged in the quest to determine whether aliens exist. 
In 2022, they established an independent study team to investigate UFOs. The team released its first report in 2023. The report found no evidence that UFOs are from aliens. Despite thorough investigations by organizations like the National Archives and Records Administration, there's no conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial life or alien existence. Scientists, including prominent figures like Carl Sagan, express skepticism when it comes to drawing definitive conclusions about the existence of aliens based solely on UFO sightings. The likelihood of the existence of aliens remains significant, and there is indeed concrete evidence that UFOs do exist. We're going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots from the west. Well, if there's a thing, it's rotating. There have been thousands of UFO sightings reported over the years, many of which have been documented by credible witnesses. UFOs and UAPs are simply objects seen in the sky that cannot be identified as known aircraft or natural phenomena. On the other hand, we don't know for sure whether or not aliens exist. There is no scientific evidence to prove or disprove their existence. However, the universe is a vast and ancient place, and it is statistically likely that life exists somewhere other than Earth. But there is one thing aliens may never do. They can't ask you to subscribe, which is why I ask that you subscribe to our channel. It's as easy as clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.